What's good, y'all? It's Boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out 20 times WWE show things you were not supposed to see. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes you pro you end up seeing things that you know obviously they didn't want shown on television. And that's the the risk that you have with live television. A lot of times, uh, it's kind of hard to cut out certain stuff that you weren't supposed to see, or you hear some things that you weren't supposed to hear on television. They don't have enough time to bleep it out. That's what makes live television live. So we're gonna check out some of these moments, man. Appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel. Let's do the damn thing. Anything can happen, but not all of it is supposed to. Over the years, WWE has accidentally shown us things they did not want us to see, like revealing how Jeff Hardy actually does his stunts. In 2008, Hardy fought Umaga in a Falls Count Anywhere match. The two mm -hmm. battled all over the arena fun and match. ended up outside. Fun, to fun end the match. match, Hardy knocked Umaga off the side of a WWE production truck. Then, Jeff joined him by hitting a swanton bomb. We didn't actually see the wrestlers hit the ground, and there's a good reason for that. After the action was over, the camera moved closer to get the aftermath. However, they got a bit too close, and the crash pad that yeah. Jeff and Umaga landed on could be seen <laughs> feet away from them. However, it obviously they have to have a crash pad because you doing that on solid concrete will probably end up paralyzing you and anyone involved in the move. So, yeah. <laughs> it might be the referee's fault. The ref raises his arm to tell the camera crew that the crash pad has been moved. There's one more crazy Jeff Hardy stunt that WWE accidentally exposed, which I'll show you soon. But first, I have to apologize for this next clip. Classic rivals The Miz and Dolph Ziggler fought each other in a beat the clock match on Raw in 2013. Both men wanted to win the match as fast as they could, but they went a bit too quick. The A-lister rolled up Ziggler, but ended up revealing too much of Dolph. Oh, Again, whoa. I apologize for that. But this isn't the only wardrobe malfunction WWE has actually shown, but you probably won't hate this next one. Oh, I'm During sure. the women's tag team match, Rosa Vendis teamed up with Natalia against Summer Rae and Layla. Rosa was trying to get back into the ring when Layla grabbed her whoa. and pulled a little too hard. That's an image none of those fans will ever forget. Now, Damn. what's the reason of wardrobe malfunction? Accidentally revealing that WWE isn't real. In 2012, John Cena was in a feud with Kane. The Devil's Spirit Demon had targeted Cena's friend, Zack uh -huh. Ryder, and Ryder's girlfriend, Eve Torres. On an episode of Raw, Kane kidnapped Eve and- This is when Zack Ryder was systematically murdered off the stage. Dude was in a wheelchair and got thrown off the stage. I'll never forget that, bro. I was like, yo, <laughs> this is, <laughs> they like we killed this nigga a lot of television. Locked her inside an ambulance. However, during the live broadcast, the camera cut too early and we saw Kane stand by the ambulance with Eve calmly walking into position. You can even see oh. a production member telling Kane to start closing the doors. At least Kane and Eve had a good excuse for why they weren't in character. Sasha Banks did not. The goal of wrestling is to make it look like the wrestlers are actually fighting one another. Uh -huh. That goal was not accomplished during the 2018 Women's Royal Rumble match. Sasha Banks was fighting Lita, but instead of kicking her opponent, the boss decided to kick the air around oh Lita. To make it even no. worse, Lita reacted like the first kick actually hit her. Maybe oh it was the no. camera crew's fault for not switching to a different angle. Yeah. It wouldn't be the first time they showed something they really shouldn't have. At Clash at the Castle in 2022, WWE was showing close-up shots of some of the fans. However, one fan was wearing a shirt that said, Better Dad than Chris Benoit. Yep. Chris Benoit was the WWE wrestler who murdered his wife and son and killed himself. And WWE does their best never to mention his name. Mm -hmm. It's not surprising that WWE <laughs> removed this shot from all replays of the show. WWE also raised this next clip from history, but this one is actually pretty funny. The Undertaker's entrance is one of a kind, but his entrance at WrestleMania 31 was something special. Fans had seen the dead man since he was defeated by Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 30. Finally, almost an entire year later, fans heard that unforgettable bell sound. Smoke filled the stage, and out came, uh, Dave the Tech Guy. <laughs> now, that's an example of how to get fired from WWE. This yeah. next clip illustrates how to get kicked out of a WWE show. Ryback was always saying BD more, and one fan Imagine took you're Dave the Tech Guy, and you, you're in the shot. Yeah. You're definitely gonna get a, you're fired by Vince. You're definitely gonna get it. <laughs> too seriously, the big guy was wrestling the Miz on Raw when all of a sudden a fan jumped into the ring to get a piece of the action. The WWE camera crew did their best not to show the intruder, but he still mm -hmm. managed to make it on TV. Two wrestlers also made it on TV, and they quickly realized they weren't supposed to. At the fully loaded pay-per-view in 1999, The Rock lost a shot at the WWE Championship thanks to Billy Gunn interfering. God the damn. two then faced off at SummerSlam and clearly didn't like each other. That's why it was shocking to see Rock and Gunn hang 
hanging out together backstage during the SummerSlam pre-show. As soon as The Rock saw the camera, he got out of there as quickly as possible. Something similar happened to The Rock's cousin. Uh, that's funny. He's like, oh, oh, we're not supposed to be walking together. Let me let me go the other way real quick. <laughs> but the situation was much different. In 2017, Braun Strowman attacked Roman Reigns backstage. The beating was so bad that Roman had to be taken away in an ambulance. However, Braun had other plans and decided yep. to flip the vehicle on its side. This would have been devastating if the camera hadn't caught Roman Reigns' shadow as the big dog escaped <laughs> from the vehicle. That oh, one no. wasn't too hard to catch. But watch this next clip and see if you notice what the trick is. No, no, no. I'll tell you whose fault it is. Roman Reigns! I love this. <laughs> Did you catch it? In order for Kevin Owens and Chris Jericho to see Roman Reigns at the same time, Y2J raised his eyebrows to give KO the cue. Oh, That's pretty sneaky. wow. Sneaky as this w that was pretty smooth. He hit the... That's that was smooth. I love I love their little dynamic they had, man. That was great. <laughs> the referee, just like any TV show, WWE needs to keep its shows on time. It's tricky to do when you have thousands of fans watching, so mm -hmm. WWE has some subtle ways of communicating with the wrestlers. During the closing moments of the 2008 Royal Rumble match, it came down to Batista, Triple H, and John Cena. However, they needed to wrap up the show soon, so the referee gave a hand signal to tell the guys how much time they had left, which was uh. 10 minutes. That was pretty low key, but you could only miss this next trick if you weren't looking. Roman Reigns and Bray Wyatt were having a physical match on Raw in 2018, and it looked like neither man would stay down for the three count. One of the reasons why was that they were secretly telling each other when to kick out. Bray had laid out mm. Reigns and gone for the pin. However, the camera caught Roman touching Wyatt's boot to give his opponent the signal that he was kicking out. Now, maybe the cameraman was the one to blame here, but this next mistake was entirely Randy Orton's fault. During the main event of SmackDown, Randy Orton fought his old rival, Rey Mysterio. The Viper was vicious and started ripping Rey's mask in half. Orton ended up winning the match, but that wasn't enough for him. The Apex Predator put Mysterio's head in yep. a chair and slammed him into the ring post. However, Rey's mask slipped off and his face was yep, exposed. He accidentally this was did not it. meant to happen, and WWE's production crew quickly made sure to cover the now unmasked luchador. WWE also really should have covered Stephanie McMahon's hand. Man, and I miss Randy, man. I miss his violent ways. <laughs> this next clip. During a segment on Raw in 2013, Stephanie was in the ring with The Big Show and Miz. WWE tried to hide it from us, but they couldn't. On Stephanie's hand, she had notes written on her palm to remind oh. her what to say. To Stephanie's defense, wrestling talent has done this before. Yep. Even The Rock was caught with notes on his yep. wrist when he returned in 2012. The Rock was also caught on live TV breaking character. At the final pay-per-view of 1998, Rock Bottom, The Rock and Mankind fought for the WWE Championship. Before the match, Vince McMahon was visiting Mankind in Mankind's, quote, office. A little later, McMahon said goodbye to Mankind and left. However, Mankind somehow teleported and was in the oh. hallway and having a friendly chat with his enemy, The Rock. While That's that was crazy. bad, what was worse was when WWE exposed the secret of an entire match type. Despite what WWE claims, the steel ladders we see them use are not actually made out of steel. Mm -mm. They are made out of wood and painted silver, and WWE proved mm -hmm. it themselves at the 2009 TLC pay-per-view. During a match between Christian and Shelton Benjamin, Captain Charisma gave his opponent a frog splash through a ladder. Before Christian went through it, the camera showed exactly where the ladder had been cut in half so that it would break when the instant classic hit. Also, after Christian landed, you could clearly see the wood the ladder yep. was made of. This next WWE secret was much easier to hide, but still ended up getting exposed. Exposed. Back when he was being called the big dog, the big dog. Reigns had hit the ground, causing a bunch of pyro to go off. It looked pretty cool, but Reigns is still human. In order to protect the big dog's hand, WWE had a cushion for him to punch. The camera crew uh... do their best to avoid showing this, but sometimes it slipped into the frame. Now, before I spoil that Jeff Hardy stunt, we need to watch something funny. In 2009, Jack Swagger won the ECW Championship and was getting pushed as a top star. A few weeks after the big win, Swagger was walking out with the title, looking like a million bucks, when the belt fell from his waist. <laughs> Alright, remember when Jeff Hardy flipped Randy Orton off the Raw stage and then climbed 30 feet oh, and delivered such a, a swanton cool bomb off moment, the Raw bro. set? One of the it was a breathtaking moment. Raw, but even when one of the greatest Raw moments of all time. All time showed the replays, we never saw Jeff actually connect with Randy. Mm -hmm. However, in the Twist of Fate Hardy Boys DVD, WWE showed a clip from that stunt. While it's brief, you can see from this angle that Jeff Hardy actually landed next to Randy Orton and didn't hit him at all. Yeah. While it was a bad angle, at least it wasn't embarrassing, unlike what happened to Stone Cold Steve Austin at SummerSlam. To see yeah, what went obviously him landing on him would probably, from that height, could definitely injure uh, 
Randy Orton. Broken ribs, all types of uh, <laughs> broken bones. Like it, he fell from a very, 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 very high spot. So it made sense they do a little bit of camera trickery to make sure all the individuals were safe. But either way, <clears throat> it still looked go. It still looked good. It's just one of those type of things where it's like you know sometimes it does. You know you do have to slip up the occasional slip up, and if you have fans recording at the time. It don't take much to pull out a camera and you can see exactly what's going on depending on what angle they're filming at. But comment down below, let me know what are some of the moments from this video that you uh, didn't know was uh, was a thing, man. I didn't know Roman Reigns punching the little crash pad to protect his hand. I didn't even know that was a thing. So that was that was a little interesting little tidbit. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys are showing on the channel. Road to 150K, and I am still your undisputed YouTube wrestling champion of the world. And you're in the Clutch World Heavyweight Champion. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See y'all next one. Peace.